I'm really sorry about the pacing of this video. It's going to be quite slow. I just want the uh, new people to have a full understanding. So there's not a lot of cuts uh, and it's very raw footage, but it's a very, very easy guide and it should take you from not knowing anything to to about a moderate level of an understanding of how to mine Varus and what Varus is. Yo, Sapa, on today's video, uh, I wanted to do kind of a tutorial, but the beginner's guide to mining Varus and how to grow your farm. And I wanted to go over things like pools and yeah, so I just wanted to do an all encompassing uh, guide on how to mine Varus. Varus can seem kind of complicated at first, but uh, through tutorials on YouTube, uh, it can be quite simple. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up an address. There's two addresses, ways you can set up an address, uh, either the desktop option or the app. So I will show you both and then we will go from there. Hmm. Okay, the first wallet I'm going to show you is the desktop wallet. First, you're going to go to Varus.io. Then you're going to go get wallet. Then you're going to go download Varus desktop wallet. And then you're going to pick whatever operating system you have. I have Windows. We'll let that download. Okay, now that you have that downloaded, you are going to click here and you're going to open up this application. You agree. Next. All. And this will take a while. I'll just get past it. And then you're going to click finish. Good auto run. Cool. And it's going to take you to a page like this. Um, so you're going to go new profile. Um, I'm just going to say for YouTube. That is the name of this account. I'm going to go create. Now we are going to select that one, select, and we're going to go wallet. And then you're going to go add coin, add coin from list, and you're going to click Varus, and you go continue. And you're just going to keep it on native. And it may take, take a while, but you're going to have to let it initialize the Varus daemon and load the block index. Well, for some reason, my brother's wallet still, <laughs> still popped up, uh, <laughs> even though we created a new um, account. So we're going to go to receive, and this will be our wallet right here. And we are going to copy it. And I usually like to go to my Gmail. Close. I'll send it to myself. Paste. Then send. And there are many advantages of using various desktop. Um, they have, uh, you can stake on it. And uh, it, if you're just starting off, uh, the chances of you hitting a block are very, very low, but there still is a chance. 
So there could be a chance that you hit a block and you get uh, six bears for free. Now, what else I like to do is um, you can you can go reveal private key, and I like to take this whole picture right here. And um, I actually get them printed out at a photo lab just in case while my technology um, breaks, uh, I have a way to access my funds. So let's say every single phone I have, every computer I have gets destroyed. I have this to look back at, and I can get my funds back so we'll close that and that is bear's desktop uh if i was gonna start from the beginning i started on various mobile but uh i eventually transferred over to various desktop just for the mining uh the proof of stake aspect so now let's set up a, a mobile wallet and then we will start mining. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go into the Play Store. And you're going to want to go Ferris Mobile. And you're going to install that. And you're going to hit Open. Get started. I will skip this. Create my profile. And we'll begin for YouTube. Good. Next. Okay, so when creating a password, you're going to want to make your password uh, complicated or also will not let you create a password. So we're going to do one, two. And then we'll do exclamation mark at, and then we'll do Dylan, and we'll do one, two, exclamation mark at, Dylan, and then next. And then we're going to say new wallet, and it's going to show us one to eight words. Um, we are going to screen cap those or take a picture of them. You're going to hit next and it's going to ask you for those words. So word two was bone. Word four was during. And word 16 was key. And complete. Cool. And then there's your profile created. Now you're going to go here. And it automatically gives you your various wallet. So you can copy it. And you can do what I said. You can email it to yourself. Um, I suggest making your various mobile wallet on your main phone versus your mining phone. Just, just so it's easier to manage your funds. Okay. Now we are going to get to mining. So we're going to go. And we are going to go back to the Play Store. And we are going to look up Varus Box. And we are going to install Varus Box. And I hit open. And then we're going to click Tools. And then we're going to hit Mining. And we're going to hit Download.
and then we're going to download this APK. Okay, for some reason, the Verisbox APK download wouldn't work for me. So, all your next option is to go to Verisbox.io. And then you're going to click this little thing here, and then you're going to go to Economy. And you're going to go down here, and you're going to click Start Mining. And you're going to go down. Then you're gonna download Varus Miner right here. Uh, I've never seen that problem before where you can't download um, Varus Box or you can't download Varus Miner off Varus Box, but it happened to me. So if it happens to you, uh, this is a way to get around it. Next, 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 quick start. We already have Varus Mobile. Okay, now, okay, now we are on the main page of uh, Mining Varus. So we're going to hit Mining. We're going to hit this little icon here. And this is our miner. We can name it whatever we want. This miner will, will be... Big boy. And, um... So depending, uh, if you're running one phone and you have no cooling, I suggest mining at six cores. But if you have some sort of cooling, I would eight cores is fine. Um, and this is where I said emailing your um, wallet to yourself is a good idea because you can easily just come in here copy get rid of this wallet and paste now we're going to pick what pool we want to go on um if you want to um, look at pools, go here and let's just go various mining mining pools. And when anybody asks me what pool they should join, I always ask how many phones are you running? and what you make a hash and if you're only running one phone i highly suggest just going with luck pool um your 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 lead your yields will be low but you have a chance of hitting a lucky block and when you do you get one free varus but as you grow my brother has 50 mega hash and he is on uh, the, the main pool. I don't know where it is on here. I don't know why it's not on here. But it, we are on pool.varus.io. And yeah, so I believe when, so the smaller you are, the <laughs> the more, the bigger the pool you want to be on. And uh, yeah, as you grow, you kind of want to like go down because uh, you give more giga hash to the, to, the, to the pool and you also yield more various. So yeah, um, today we'll just pick luck pool. So let's go back here. Um, I'm in North America. And we will save. Okay. And we will start mining.
allow. Allow. And this phone is now mining. Uh, luck pool takes a while for your mega hash to uh, fully show, so don't freak out if you have a low mega hash. Everything's okay. But yeah, that's a. Uh, if you want to stop there, like, that is the basics of mining Varus. Now, I will see you at the tripod. And if you saw there, we just jumped up to 4.47 mega hash. Okay, so now you have one phone mining and uh, now you're getting a little hungry. Now you wanna, you know, expand your farm. Um, I highly suggest before you go out buying phones, uh, ask your friends and family if they have any extra phones lying around. Uh, when I first got into Varus, um, I asked my friends and I got six phones for free. And if each phone is pulling five mega hash, five times six, that is 30 mega hash. So that's a pretty decent start, you know, for mining. And um, once you get up to higher numbers of phones, you're gonna want to have a way to store them and cool them. So I will take you into my mining room and I will show you what, how I set up my phones. So this is a uh, 10, 10 Orbic uh, Joys or Q10s and I have them on a 96 watt um, charging station. I used to suggest 60 watt, but um, I have had problems with 60 watt where uh, the charging or the mining and the charging can't keep up with the, uh, the mining. So the phones would constantly, the power supply would constantly kick on and off. And you're gonna wanna get yourself some fans. Um, I use USB fans and my friend uh, 3D prints uh, phone like um, my friend 3D prints uh, fan mounts. Uh, his STL link will be down below. But yeah, the re I had um, these phones, these are Dream 5Gs, and they pull a lot more than 6 watts while mining. And these little 60 watt miners just could not keep up. So I had to upgrade to 120 watt. Um, 120 watt is just generally safer to go with, but the 96 watt that I just purchased seems to be doing just fine and yeah um this is kind of like how you want to grow your farm when i first started uh people called me an idiot for buying charging stations and fans and they're like oh that's gonna you know cut into your roi but um all my phones are organized uh this keeps things everything cool and uh yeah i have a theory that um a lot of people will put their phones on timers and i feel like that costs you more money in electricity because eventually your phones are gonna bloat and it's just cheaper to, to buy a new phone than the money you spent on, you know, constantly, you know, letting the phones drain and then charge. 
Um, and yes, uh, the reason why cooling is so important is because of the bloating. It, it, um, it slows it down and also it increases your mega hash. So the cooler your CPU is, the higher the mega hash. Um, I hope that gave you a nice gu guide on Varus mining. Um, you know, where to start. Um, uh, at first, I would just stick with Varus Miner, uh, get used to the, the Varus environment. And then you can watch my video on how to mine Varus like a pro. Uh, it'll drastically increase your mega hash, but it is kind of complicated. And if you are just starting out, uh, I always suggest I would suggest not to start there. Um, I am very bullish on Varus. It is 100% community driven. It is true DeFi. I think either two things are going to happen this market for Varus. I think it's either going to do okay and then explode in the next market or it's just going to absolutely explode in this market cycle. So yeah, I am very bullish on Varus and hence why I have such a big collection of phones. Um, some warnings, I would stay away from CPU mining at current prices. Uh, I, I think it is still profitable, but it is summer, so it will heat your house up and your power bill will drastically go up. Uh, I turned off five of my CPU rigs and I went from 60, watt, 60 kilowatt hours a day down to like 20. So. Yeah, it is a lot cheaper just to mine off of phones. Phones are king. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe. Uh, you can leave your questions down below. I love answering any question. I usually read every single comment and I will try to answer any question you have uh, to the best of my ability. A good way to get phones is off cryptedcrypto.com um, and if you use the code paperclip you get 10% off and he sells Orbic Joys and Orbic Q10s and those are two amazing phones for mining and he sells them at a reasonable price and especially with a 10% off, you're getting a pretty sweet deal. And he is really good at if you're if he sends you a phone and it doesn't work, uh, he will probably send you back a replacement and then you send back your phone that doesn't work for free. Um, all my affiliate links are down below. Uh, everything I use to build up what you just saw. Uh, the link to my second channel is down below. Some big things are about to happen. And yeah, they, if you want to know anything about my personal life, uh, you can subscribe to my second channel. Um, all the links to my social media are down below. And the link to my Discord is down below. There's a lot of great people in there. And if you have any questions about mining anything, they will usually have the answer for you. So yeah, I will check you later.